using cross towels. On the bottom, we'll use a one and a half. And at the top, we'll use a two inch screw with a cross towel. And now on to the, the next one. We're going to do the same thing, same size screw. Now I'm going to put the rails on the Y axis. We'll use one and a half inch with cross towels. Okay, now I'm going to put the rails on the, on the x-axis, which is the table, using these holes. They look rather large, and that's just for adjustment. So position it somewhere in that hole. Start with a one and a half inch screw. Then on the lower side, putting a rail on the bottom. I do not After you have all the screws in and the nuts, don't tighten them too tight yet. You can see the adjustability in the rails. We'll be adjusting that when we put the gantry on. Now we're going to go ahead and do the other side. Okay, now it's time to put the bearings on the on the gantry slides. I'm going to use a quarter, um, a three eighths inch screw, three eighths inch nut um, bearing. It's called a, a V groove bearing. We'll use these washers and smaller washers and these very very thin washers. Okay, so first we'll put the bearing on the screw, and we'll have one of these very small washers, the very thin ones. This allows the bearing to turn. Then the medium washer and the large washer. And then we'll use a nut on the other side. Do that for all of the all of the places where you're gonna have the, the bearings. And on the slider, the other one that'll adjust, we're gonna put another one of these on the outside. Okay, this is very important. Now you'll see that this is, this side only has a hole, but this side has this cutout. This is where the motor is going to be for them. So this side of the table has clearance. You'll, you'll notice that the screws are here and the supports are here, which will get in the way of the, the motor. 
So the motor has to be on this side. You want to make sure you orient the gantry. Line up your bearing, bring up the bottom bearing. Tighten it as much as you can with your fingers just to keep it on the rails and on this side. So now your, your bearing should be pretty tight and you'll see what kind of space you need to start to tighten the, the rails. I'm going to have one side here on the edge of the MDF and I'm going to tighten it down at that point. So I'm going to start with one screw and it's flat against this side, this edge, and everything will work off of this. So I want to make sure that it's pretty close to this edge here so I can get as square as possible. I'm going to do the end first. So I maintain that edge. Okay. Now the middle. Okay. And the rest of them. Now it's good to actually tighten the, the bottom pieces on both sides so they're tight against the rail. And then you can tighten this side. When you're tightening this side, it's good to Tighten it so when you when you're tightening it, it pushes it this way at the same time. It should feel pretty firm while it goes down the, the rail. And now we will be able to, since this is the clear area underneath, let me go ahead and show that to you. You'll see that there's a, a space here for the motor and it won't get in the way of this. You'll also have a shaft coming from the back of the motor to this location and this will still be cleared by, by this since this is only a quarter inch shaft. Now that you have fastened this side, the x-axis, and it's rigid, it's solid, it doesn't, it's not going to go anywhere, this one is still movable but it's going to auto-correct. Tighten the screws while the gantry is right next to this location. If it's over here, then there's too much, too much uh, adjustment here. So you want to make sure that it auto-adjusts at this location when the gantry is to this side. Okay. The x-axis is solid. Now we're going to start, we're going to add the, the Z and Y plate to this um, axis. The Z and Y plate looks like this. Okay, so first we need to put on the, the bearing. Um, these four holes will be for um, mounting the motor in the back and the um, mechanism that makes it drive. Um, the V-groove bearings will be mounted here, 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 and these two. These two, these four are for the, um, the Z axis and these four for the Y axis. These um, serve dual purpose you will have a bearing on the front and a bearing on the back, bearing front, bearing back. This one will have a bearing on the back and the back. And this will have two uh, bearing on the front and the front. The, the uh, configuration is very similar to the way we did the, the gantry. The screw goes in the back first. The reason why we're doing that is we need, we have minimal clearance here, so we need nothing sticking out too far on, this, on the back side. For these two, we're going to put the bearing on first. Small washer, medium, large. And then we put this in the back. For this particular hole, we're going to go ahead and use the screw going in this direction since it will clear the, the y-axis rail. So let's go ahead and get some. 